exactly who I am and where I'm from. Exactly. All right. I'm making a video with the best realtor in my area. She found us. She found us our house. Yes. When we, yeah. When we bought our house, we didn't even look at it. She looked at it, and we. I and I said, if you like it, we take it. So right now I'm talking to her because. Tell us what you just did. Okay. This. By the way, my name is Kathy Nate. I work for Berkshire Hathaway Home Services here in Northern Indiana, and that is true what he's saying. They lived in Chicago at the time. They trusted me enough to find them a house, and I did that for them. What I just did right now, I was on the block, next block over, showed a house to one of my couples, 18 showings today, they fell in love with the house, and they said, how do we get this house? Number one, cash offer, and they're lucky enough to cash in some of their savings and investments. Cash offer, number two, you take the house as is. It's a nice house, we looked it over. It's probably only maybe about 20 years old. Take it as is, and also write up an escalation clause. What's an escalation clause? An escalation clause is something that gets attached to the purchase agreement. It's like one page. And it's saying that you'll go, say, $1,000 over the highest bid, but you put a cap onto it. But wait, wait, here, here's the thing. Here's what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Is that everybody is, everybody is uh, like falling over themselves. Correct. Talking about the housing crash the, because the interest rates are going up. And what I find is interesting is that interest rates are up. Like Correct. Mor mortgage rates are up, right? Right. And yet, that little dinky house over there. That's right. 18 showings today. 18, 18 showings, showings today. 18 showings today. They have showings also booked for tomorrow. And all offers are to come in on Monday. Right, so, so think about this for a second. We're about to have a housing crash. Everybody's talking about housing crash, and we have 18 people interested in one house. That's right. And that, that's, that's what I was trying try to tell people, is that, like, there is no houses, okay? Uh, How can you have a housing crash when there's no houses available? Tell me, right. where's the housing crash? Right, and this is, this is the problem right now. The reason they have 18 showings today is because we are short on inventory, and that's not just here in South Bend, Indiana. That's here nationwide. So what you have are all these buyers coming in, and they're all doing these escalation clauses. And like I told my buyers, you know, go like a thousand or two thousand over the top price, but not to exceed. And they have to come up with what they want. This house is two twenty nine. I said you can go all the way up to two sixty, and I know it'll appraise because houses are going for twenty, thirty thousand over asking price. So that that little house. Yeah. You see, our house, our house is bigger. Okay, That's it's right. bigger than that. We bought, you, when you got us this house, we paid 139. Okay, the That's other right. house, what are they listed for? 229. 229. So which means our house should be listed for like 250. Correct. Uh, something like that. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So as far as this, what you're yeah. talking about, this recession and yeah, well, putting you, the remember, fear into everybody. I was talking about like copy. Copy. My friend had an article that he said if there is um, a thousand people that can afford a house at three percent mortgage rate and then there's 600 people that can afford it at four percent and then there's 500 that can afford it at five percent it doesn't matter because there's only 100 houses available and that's what that's right. people seem to not understand is that how can you have a housing crash when there's not enough inventory when when the price of the price of lumber the price of everything is going up the replacement cost of these houses are going up like, we, we're just getting a, uh, a new door, garage door. We waited six months for a fucking garage right. door. That's right. Okay, it's yeah. like housing crash. Show me housing crash. But everybody's talking about a housing crash because mm -hmm. it's exciting, okay? It's mm -hmm. exciting, it gets views. It gets people interested to watch your videos and, and read your articles and get, and get ratings. It's ridiculous. And it gets, it, it gets the market moving, actually, when you yeah. put all this fear. All of a sudden, everybody wants to hurry up and sell their house before the crash happens. Buyers want to buy as soon as they can before the interest rate continues to climb. So fear creates movement in the market, and that's what we have right now in the real estate industry. Lots and lots of movement. All right. Yeah. Thanks for Thank watching. You.